I know a lot of people struggle presenting in front of a camera. Don't worry, it's kind of normal. The other day, some colleagues asked a question. How do you present with impact on camera while still maintaining your authentic self? And that's a great question. I think there are two parts to answer this. Firstly, I think we need to accept that we have different ways of being and of engaging depending on who we're with. If you were talking to a client, it would be different to talking to a partner or a child or a best mate. Have you ever noticed that you change your behaviour and how you present yourself based on who you're with at the time? So, if you're willing to accept that, then are you being inauthentic if you talk to your mother in a different manner to how you talk to your best mate? I don't think so. I think it's just different aspects of our personality. And it's also about understanding social conventions. So, my point is, you need to consider the audience you're talking to on camera as one of the groups of people you engage with. If you were standing on a stage delivering a presentation, you would need to let your energy radiate. You need, out of respect for those in attendance, to show your best version of yourself performing. Is that being inauthentic? On the contrary, it's being respectful to those whose attention you have. Imagine reading pages of notes at a lectern head down when someone has turned up expecting you to connect with them. Don't be that person. You owe it to your audience to present in an engaging manner. Be yourself, but be your best performing version of yourself. Now, part two of this question leads to the issue of how we need to be energetic on camera. The fact is, and I've seen it way too many times, cameras dampen your energy. What might feel appropriate and engaging in person often comes across as dull and disinterested on camera. So once again, out of respect for your audience, you need to switch on your energy levels. You need to shine on the camera. And actually what I think about, there's a third part, you need to practice. Think and plan about what you'll be talking about. Do multiple takes if you like. In fact, if you're starting out, I highly recommend doing multiple takes. And you'll find as you get more comfortable with the process, you'll get better at it. So Dallas and Wendy, thanks for the question. I hope that helps. I'm Jeff Anderson from Sonic Sight. We make videos, quite a lot of them actually.